Oh, hello, and welcome to another Today's Decay. Celebrating births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. It is February 29th, and I might not have ever done this one before. You know, on account of leap year. So, here we are, February 29th, all day. Uh, and in 1896, one Wild Bill Wellman was born, who, um, uh, there's all sorts of amazing stuff about him. There's this documentary I saw a bunch of years ago that I wonder if I had seen the documentary after seeing his films, or a bunch of his films, would I have viewed the movies differently, better or worse? Because once seeing the documentary and getting like the full scoop on like his personality and his all his adventures that were his life, uh, you could see it all through his movies. Um, he was a World War One fighting ace who uh, went off pre America joining World War One just to get out there and get him, and um, yeah, was like celebrated. And I think was he he worked with the French or maybe the British? I think it was French. And he's just out there in, like, you know, World War One biplanes where there's just, like, just you and open sky and explosions all over the place. And, you know, edge your seat, excitement and adventure. And uh, he then comes back to uh, America after the war and um, gets his start in a Douglas Fairbanks senior film called The Knickerbocker Buckaroo. Um, I am going to totally do this story uh, an injustice because there's so many great details. Every single step of the way is like one great detail after another that I'm, I'm going to blank on. I think, what, did he, he, did he take his plane and like land it on Douglas Fairbanks Sr.'s lawn and be like, I've arrived and I'm here to now start my career in Hollywood. It was something like, like, as like bombastic and nonsense as that. And it somehow worked. Uh, he then becomes a like director. I think he directed Wings with Clara Bow. Um, in part because of his like World War I flying ace celebrity status, really. He was almost like, like the Red Baron of uh, America, you know? And uh, what else? Then he starts making just one wonderful movie after another. But he was like a really like aggressive, like, you know, big personality type person. So like his like nickname was Wild Bill Wellman. It's perfect. Perfect. Uh, he directs Public Enemy with James Cagney. He directs Night Nurse with um, Barbara Stanwyck. Um, so many like sweet spot, wonderful pre-code horror movies from like 1929, 1933 and a half, give or take, um, where they're all like 60 minutes long. This is a biography of his, by the way. A short time for insanity. Yeah. Um, uh, these pre-code films, and to me, he's like my favorite pre-code film director. The best. I, was, I thought about it just as I'm talking. I really didn't prepare for this too much. Uh, but my favorite has got to be the film Wild Boys of the Road. Um, Frankie Darrow, I think, is one of the main stars. And uh, just awesome early 30s style and aesthetics and, uh, you know, pre-code films... Not to give too much away, but like the good guys don't always win and things are dark and turn in ways that you don't necessarily foresee um, to the point that that's why the code was enacted in like 34-ish where like, you know, American values and, and all of this. Uh, but prior to that, you've got that couple year window where like anything goes from the start of the sound period to the code being put in place. And William Bell, uh, Wild Bill Wellman is right there for a good deal of it. Um, Heroes for Sale, like, open talk about drug use, drug addiction, painkillers specifically, uh, for GIs coming back from World War One, in, like, a film, like, is, I, there's a lot of them. Uh, those, like, Forbidden Hollywood T uh, TCM collections are almost entirely consisting of, uh, Wild Bill Wellman films, and, uh, highly, highly suggest them. Uh, Star is Born, the original Star is Born, starring um, uh, Friedrich March. <sighs> intense, so intense. He then does westerns and plenty more. I mean, he's got a, you know, almost like a King Vidor type character as far as like you know, the, the scope of his, his, the, his career just goes on for decades. But those pre code films, all the way. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I, yeah, try to find. 
is, um, yeah. oh, here's a picture of him as the flying ace. That's a good one. Iconic. Yeah. Um, that's, that's my story there. And then 1929, lo and behold, who, who uh, is unleashed on this planet? Why not other than weather pattern herself, Tempest Storm. That's right, a uh, burlesque legend who, uh, as I'm told, um, worked, dated Russ Meyer uh, in the late 40s, where she starred in a film that he was the cameraman for called Paris, no, French People? Peep Show, French Peep Show. Assistance, thank you. Uh, and, you know, then goes on to uh, date not other than Elvis Presley and, and spends, spends the next whatever many years of her life uh, basically not aging, uh, but being this, you know, iconic burlesque creature who uh, dies at the age of 93, but uh, considering she's a leap year baby, born on February 29th, She's only a fraction of that age. That's why she looks so good. That's how that works, right? That's what I'm called. Anyway, that's it. The whole day, February 29th. Hermas, take you. Till tomorrow. Goodbye.